after Gavaklite bin San Lerfa, the greatest discovery of the world of archaeology, which sheds light on 12,000 years of human history, 12 more excavations are being carried out in the same region under the name of Stone Hills. Polished Stone Age is one of the historical periods that we all first learned at school. In other words, the Neolithic Age with its scientific name. What is known about this period, known as the end of the Stone Age, to about 10,000 BC, was naturally very limited. Until the discovery of Gavaklite bin San Lerfa. The archaeological finds unearthed in Gavaklite shed light on one of the oldest periods in human history. A great deal of information, from what the people of that period ate and drank to how they worshipped, is no longer a secret. And Gavaklite is not alone. Anatolia continues its pioneering work on the enlightenment of the Neolithic age. After Gavaklite, which is on the UNESCO World Heritage List, 12 more excavations are being carried out in the region under the name of Stone Hills. These excavations, which have similar obelisks in Gavaklite, will host the first examples of settled life and social communities in the world. The new star of Tas Tipler, which was announced to the world with a launch made the previous day, is Karahan Teep. Archaeological excavations continue in seven areas, including Gavaklite, Karahan Teep, Gurkya Teep, Sabres, Sakmate Teep, Sefer Teep and Yeni Mahale Mound, covering an area of 100 square kilometers. In the coming days, excavations will also begin in Eimler, Yogan Burs, Harbetsuban, Kurt Teepsi and Tasteep settlements within the scope of the first phase of the project covering the years 2021 to 2024. Gavaklite and Karahan Teep Main Station, there will be intermediate stations in areas such as Sefer Teep, Tasla Teep and Eimler Hoyuk. Karahan Teep is planned to be open to visitors in 2022. The Stone Hills region contains the first examples of organized labor and specialization in the history of civilizations. It will be revealed that the findings obtained in the excavations to be carried out in 12 places shed light on the knowledge of humanity in a wide area from the daily lives of people in the prehistoric period to their world of belief, and that there are many other places similar to Gavaklite, which reflects the first stages of the Neolithic Age, in San Lerfa. Tipler, which is thought to be the beginning of the process where the shelter turned into a dwelling and real villages emerged 12,000 years ago, there are finds about humanity's first use of pottery and the ability to carry out basic trade initiatives. The monumental structures in the region are believed to be communal places where people come together. Head of Gavaklite Excavation, who is responsible for 12 excavations, Professor Dr. Nasiemi Karol answered the curious questions of the world press. Karol, research shows us that the ancestors of cereals, showed that the ancestors of domesticated animals such as cattle and goats were in these lands. We have designed a project where we can find the opportunity to add to this evidence. In this context, we have now designed excavations at 12 points and have started 7 of them. It will make important contributions to the Neolithic period, he said. Karahan Teep rises within San Lerfa's interesting limestone authentic land structure. These limestone rocks are the main material of the finds. The obelisks and a human figure in Karahan Teep, which we reached after a small climb, draw attention. There are many animal depictions on the T-shaped obelisks. Chairman Karol underlines that the first examples of depictions such as fox, lion and bull are encountered in this region. All of the animals are portrayed as aggressive and they are all masculine animals. Stating that the presence of several motifs on the stones indicates the existence of some partnerships, Karol said, it shows that societies have common memories. It makes sense when we think of Karahan Teep together with Gavaklite. We are trying to make the process of approximately 1,500 years understandable. Culture and Tourism Minister Mehmet Nuri Arsoy introduced Karahan Teep to the world for the first time yesterday, after the launch, within the scope of the Taz Teepler project. Promotional organization was held in Karahan Teep with a meeting attended by representatives of many international media organizations. Karahan Teep was showcased for the first time in the world. Karahan Teep, which was registered as a first-degree archaeological site in 2007, is located in the Tek Tek Mountains National Park. As a result of the studies, the presence of many obelisks was determined. Underlining that Gavaklite updates our knowledge in archaeology, Minister Arsoy said, he has put before us new questions that have not been asked before and which are essential to answer. Now we're going to pull that point deeper and farther back. Because Gavaklite is not alone and alone. 
we will be interpreting the unknown stories of Anatolia's contribution to the history of humanity with 12 excavations, he says, referring to the importance of the project. Underlines that cooperation is planned with 12 institutions and organizations, including eight different universities. He also adds that eight different universities from five countries and four international academies, institutes and museums are included in the Sandlerfa Neolithic Studies project. It is announced that these countries will be Japan, Russia, Germany, England, and France. Taz Tipler is the largest and most comprehensive archaeological project in the country to date. Minister Arsoy explains the contribution of the study to tourism and the country's economy as follows. A public investment of TL 127 million is envisaged, excluding current and personnel expenses. We will ensure that the results obtained with the Sandlerfa Neolithic Age Research Project meet with the scientific community and society. Karahantip one of the most important stops among Neolithic settlements. This is the largest and most comprehensive archaeology project in our country. We detected 16 more points around Gabaklite. We want this to be the largest international project in the world. We think that this project, in the form of the Stone Hills route, will receive several million annual visitors as it launches. We think it will go up to 5 to 6 million. It will become the main hub of 6 to 7 day routes in the southeast. We will turn this place into a tourist center. We think it will contribute 1 billion dollars annually to the economy in a few years. Our expectation for the first 5 years is to provide a tourism input of 5 billion dollars from here. Bayezgal is one of the names that the project makes the most happy. Bayezgal, who set the Egyptian pyramids as his target, said, we claim that this is the center of gastronomy. Don't people 12,000 years ago bring the most delicious things here? We know that our music is also far ahead. Almost every single one of our children has a beautiful voice. Now, Urfa will be able to compete with the Egyptian pyramids, 